Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be doing my September 2021 bullet journal setup. Let's get started with the cover page. So for this month's theme, I'm doing dragon fruit. I know that dragon fruits are more like a summery theme because it's a fruit, but I really wanted to do something fun and bright. For painting the dragon fruit, I'm using watercolors. I started with a very light watercolor base. Then I moved on to the dragon while the watercolors are drying. I'm going to work in layers, so in each watercolor layer, I'm going to wait for it to dry first before doing the next layer. I'm using this colored pen to draw the dragon in the middle. Anyways, I'm moving on to the second layer of watercolors. For this, I'm using the same magenta colors, and I'm just applying it on top to make it a darker color. In the middle, I'm writing September in watercolor. I also added some watercolor to the dragon in the middle so that it would have some colors to it. I tried to make it a gradient by making the head darker than the tail. Next, I'm adding an outline to the dragon fruit. I made sure to use a waterproof fine liners. When I put watercolors on top, it won't bleed. Anyways, have you ever tried dragon fruit before? I have, and I've tried two different kinds, the white dragon fruit and the pink dragon fruit. I think pink dragon fruits taste way better than white ones because they have a little bit of sweetness to them. The white dragon fruits taste pretty plain though. I really wanted to get a dragon fruit and put it in this video like this for fun, but I didn't have one. Next, I'm using a water-based brush pen to add a gradient on the top of the letters. First, I just drew the halfway through the letters with the marker. Then I outlined the bottom half with the thin part of the marker. This will help make the bottom stand out. Now I'm going with the third layer. I'm also adding some watercolors outside of the outlines of the dragon for more interest. I drew some pink dragon fruits along with the white dragon fruits on the cover page. There are also yellow dragon fruits. I've never tried a yellow dragon fruit before though. Next, I decided to add some painted corners on the edges of the cover page. I used the marker to add some darker shadows on top of the dragon fruit. Lastly, I'm erasing all the pencil marks. Then I'm adding some washi tape. I'm using grid washi tape, like always. I also added some little green leaves floating around the page. This will just fill in the empty space. Oh, and before we finish, I'm just touching up the letters. And that's our finished cover page. Moving on to the calendar page. I'm starting with the leaves of the dragon fruit because they're a lighter color than the pink, so I don't want them to be covered up by the pink when I put it on top. <laughs> I usually start with the watercolor first before the outline because I feel like it makes it feel more flowy and self stiff since it can go outside of the outline. Next, I'm drawing the calendar using a ruler. This is a simple box layout. I also drew a notes box on the side as always, but I think I should have used a ruler for that because it turned out kind of wonky. Next, I'm outlining the dragon fruit. I looked up a lot of references for dragon fruit to make this because I didn't really know how to draw it. If you look at dragon fruit, it looks kind of weird because it has all these green leaf-like things sticking out of it. So I had to draw that and make it look like the picture. After that, I added a really dark layer for the second layer of watercolor. I also chose this dragon fruit theme because I'll be using this planner for school as well. Dragon fruits are really fun themes, so maybe they'll cheer me up when I look at it during school. Anyways, this is the brain dump section. I'm putting it right next to the calendar because when I put it on a separate page, sometimes I don't look at it that often, but I always look back on the calendar page. I'm also adding a, a blotch of watercolor for the dragon. Next, I'm using a dark brush pen to draw a drop shadow. Now it's time to paint the letters. I'm writing September in watercolor. I used this technique of using watercolor for the letters throughout the whole theme and I really liked it. 
Now for the dragon. I tried to draw an Eastern style dragon instead of Western style dragon, so it's more like a Chinese or Japanese dragon. I looked up reference pictures, but I don't really have a certain way of drawing it. I just try to make it look however I want. I always like to put these little scales at the spine of the dragon because I think it makes it more defined. Again, I'm using the same technique of the water-based brush pin on the top and then fine liner on the bottom. Now I'm writing all of the dates and I'm using a little bit of marker to add some shadows to the dragon fruit. For the quote, I'm writing, bring out your inner dragon. I really wanted to find a quote that related to the dragon fruit, but I couldn't really think of one, so I just made it related to the dragon. I rolled it using watercolors. I added some watercolor to the boxes to make it darker. Lastly, I'm adding some washi tape. The grid washi tape is my favorite because I use it for almost every theme I have. Moving on to the next page. This first page is the sleep tracker page. For this, I'm going to draw a giant dragon fruit cut in half. In the inside of dragon fruit will be where I actually track my sleep, but on the outside, it's going to have a dragon fruit design. I also drew some mini dragon fruits floating around the page. This next page over here is the exercise tracker. This is more like a log where I'll write which exercises I do and what days I do them. I kind of don't fill this out as often as I want to, but I made sure to leave spaces for the amount of days that I want to exercise. For headings, I just use some watercolor. Now I'm just using a ruler to draw the box for the log. Sometimes I don't use a ruler, but I think it makes the lines way more straight, and I'm not going to be lazy anymore. I'm also outlining the dragon fruit sleep tracker. These dragon fruits look super delicious in this video. It makes me want to get a dragon fruit to eat right now. I'm also adding a dragon, of course. I think I added a dragon on almost every spread. The dragons look different every time, which is kind of cool, because each one is unique. I'm really glad I have this pink fineliner. This is actually the only colored fineliner that I own, which is really good because it fits perfectly for this scene. I should probably get some other colors, but I don't really use them that often. Black fineliners are the ones that I use the most. Now I'm just darkening up the colors of the dragon fruits with some more watercolor. I really like using watercolors for these themes, but the problem is that it, watercolor takes a lot to set up. You need to get your water jars and your brushes and your paint, and it takes a lot to clean up too. I kind of get tired of doing watercolor when I'm really busy, especially when I'm trying to do a weekly spread that's super quick. So there are advantages to watercolors, but there's also disadvantages. I chose watercolor for this thing mainly because I wanted to use more colors. For the sleep tracker, I'm just drawing a lot of sections in the center. These sections will represent each of the days. So there will be 30 days for September. For one of the sections, it's going to be the key. This will tell me which hour each line goes up to. I will color up to each line to represent the hours that I went to bed. I don't need to track what hour I woke up, since I will wake up the same time every day now that school started. I only need to track how late I sleep. I don't want to sleep late, like that's a really bad habit I have. I'm trying to improve my sleep cycle. I'm just blending out the marker on the edges of the sleep tracker. This will make it look like a smooth blend, and it will disguise the marker and make it look like watercolor. Again, I'm using this black drop shadow. It adds a lot of contrast. I finished up the heading by using the same watercolor technique with markers. I also wrote the word tracker and log in a smaller box. I decided to use my markers on the dragon to add some more color. I'm going to put some pink wash tape and some grid wash tape to finish it off. And those are the two finished spreads. Moving on to the weekly spread. 
Now it's time for the weekly spread. I'm going to make this vertical box layout because I think it works the best for my school work since I can make a lot of to-do lists. I'm also going to make all 5 weeks of September. Usually I would only do one weekly spread in the video and then keep making the other weeks as the weeks go by. But this month I have school which is going to make me be really busy and I won't be able to make the spreads as I go. So I'm just doing all of them at once so I don't have to worry about making them in the following weeks. I made these little tabs so I can switch between the weeks. At the bottom, I'm adding the habit tracker. I really don't use the habit tracker, which is really bad because I'm trying to improve my habits. So I decided I should put them at the bottom of the weekly spread so it's easier for me to see. Hopefully, this will get me to use them more often. I'm also adding a dragon at the bottom. At the top, I'm writing which week it is. I accidentally messed up and wrote week 2 on the right page, which I wasn't supposed to do. So it's actually a sunset right now, which is why the lighting looks so good. Anyways, I'm adding a black drop shadow on the right side and the bottom of each box. Each weekly spread is going to be the same layout. At the bottom of the box, there's a colored section. This is for writing my tasks that are not related to school. I'll be writing after school tasks such as making YouTube videos and other things. I outlined the bottom box and the top where I wrote the days of the weeks. Next I'm just coloring the dragon fruits by darkening up the watercolor. This dragon, I don't know why, but this looks so derpy. I'm doing the same coloring technique, but this time I decided to use my marker for the spines to make it faster. I still did not realize my mistake of writing week 2 on the second page. So I messed it up again, but I'll need to cover it up later. For the tabs, I'm coloring each of the edges so that it has a striped ombre kind of look. I also darkened up the bottom boxes for writing my non-school related tasks. Now I'm doing all the other weekly spreads, which are basically the same thing. It's really relaxing to color with watercolors too. The only difference is that on week 4, I have a dragon on the top of the page. This dragon turned out okay. I think it's kind of skinny though. I decided not to do week 5 because that's going to be on the single page by itself. For the bottom, I wrote, be brave and strong. This is also related to a dragon quote. Lastly, I'm going to add some washi tape to all of the pages. It's time for the final flip through. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.